This month, the support desk brought you one of our favorite features for processing driver pay. Did you know that you can authorize trip pay in batch? Let's step through it. You can open this tool from the dispatch dropdown on the main menu. There's a lot of features in this window to unpack. Start by picking which trip types you want to work with. You'll probably always want to mark dispatch and pay only trip types to capture regular dispatch loads and any after the fact pay or pay adjustments. If you're following along, you might not see your current trips. Try marking include trips with no pay. Okay, so what does this do? The batch pay window is summing up item pay totals from the trip window. If a trip doesn't have any items, then this window can't show the driver name or a date. Let's take this trip. A neat little trick is that you can click the button on the left and open the trip right from here. There's nothing in this pay window. I'm going to open up a trip where we are seeing a driver name and a date for comparison. Someone's already calculated or entered pay on this trip using the plus button, so we have a driver name and an item date. This tool does support calculating pay right from here. It's in beta, so reach out to us if you want to give it a try. Using this action button, I can calculate the pay for the trip right now. Now that there's pay calculated, we can see that the trip's showing up with a driver and a date. You can optionally use a cutoff date here at the top. This is looking at that pay date. This tool comes with a filter option too. You can search for anything in your global search color. Maybe you want to filter on trip status or on a particular driver ID. Now that we have the results that we want, we can take some actions on the trips that are in view. You can do a few things here, either one trip at a time or in batch on the trips that are in view. You can generate pay miles, either before or after pay is calculated. If you have the beta version, you can calculate pay. This is the same as importing pay directly in the trip. And finally, you can authorize the pay. Since I'm happy with my result set, I'm going to use the authorize all action to authorize the previously calculated pay on all of the trips in view. As usual, all of this authorized pay is now visible in the settlement program. Stay tuned for more Q7 tips and tricks. Don't forget that you can hit F1 on your keyboard on most Q7 windows to launch the Q7 knowledge base for more information on the batch pay window.